Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Yoshi's Island. Today, we continue our journey through World 1. The Cave of Chomp Rock. Oh. I don't have any items. Do items save, save between sessions, or...? Oh, it doesn't matter. This game, you don't need items for the most part. Pounding the ground. Hey. Pounding the ground. And then you get two immediate examples of the uses of ground pounding. And it is nice. I don't know why these little angry hoppy plants used to terrify me so much. Oh, I, it's this one specific spot here. Whoops. Alright. This one specific spot here where they used to terrify me. And I don't know why. Alright. So this allows me to change my, uh... There are two controller fig configurations for egg throwing. Would you like to switch? No. Alright. Collected some stuff. And now to crush things with Chomp Rock. Huh. So yeah, don't know, don't have a whole lot to say about this cave. It, it's your big introduction to Chomp Rock. Sure, you could see it once in the sec in a secret area earlier, but this is a bigger introduction, I guess. Like, Chomp Rock is all over the place, and you learn about how it can be used to ambush you and shove you down a hill. And, oh, hey. You know, I'd better deal with this. Take that. Oh, that is not right, right, right. That was going to be some stars if I wasn't max on stars. That's a nifty little thing that I like about this. If you're max on stars, anything that would drop stars instead drops coins so that you can get more lives. Wait, what was that up above? All right, fine, I'll just pop it with an egg. Okay, so now I'll head out over here. Ah! It's so bizarre that you can get caught between two chomp rocks and the game counts as taking a hit. Throwing balloons. I hate this minigame. Blah, blah, blah. Enter the key sequence shown. Right, A down A. Like... The, the X button for this always looked like percentage to me, and so the first time I played it, the first several times I played it, I had no idea what button to push for the percent button. Yeah, I'm probably not playing this optimally, but... The only prize for winning this is lives anyway, I think. See, that X looks like a percent to me. Except the slash is going the wrong way. Was that supposed to be the clue that let that led me to pushing X instead of staring at the screen in horror? Whoops. Instead of staring at the screen in horror, not knowing what to do. Uh 
So, like Super Mario World, this game respawns pretty much everything when you uh, leave and re-enter an area. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. In this case, it's a helpful thing because I lost like four stars from getting hit by Chomp Rock. Now where's the other stars? Gimme, gimme. All right, already got all the red coins out of this. I was a very anxious child, especially when it came to video games. Alright, so as I recall, there is a secret of some description in here. Yep, an extra life. Now I could smash my way through this to get the flower, like that, or I could just toss an egg and get it way easier. Alright, these secrets are cool and weird and I love them, but at the same time this one is totally optional and exists mostly to teach you about how this thing works. Ah! Well, I missed out on some coins. No red coins there, you don't need that for 100 points in this level. I don't know why, but when I was younger, ha and I got up here the first time using the Chomp Rock, like, I don't know why I was so shocked that the Chomp Rock gave me enough extra height to get up here when normal jumping didn't. I mean, of course it would? That is literally extra height to start from. I don't know what else I w would have expected from that. And so they've stopped- oh no! Well, I'm not getting 100 points on this level because I wasn't paying attention while I was running. Also, some of my eggs got destroyed when that plant bit me. What? Oh gosh. I'm amazed at how quickly that counts down. Let's see, flip cards. Oh gosh, I hate this. Like, I've done this with save states, right? Sometimes, like, if you hit all the, all but one of the blocks without hitting Kamek, Kamek flies when you get 10 lives, but I've done it with save states. Sometimes there are multiple panels with Kamek behind them. Bert the Bashful's Fort. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these buckets because they just give you coins. And sure, coins give you lives, but... <laughs> They're such a boring prize. Oh, hey, look at this shortcut that I have taken more than once to just skip my way through the level. Like, you go up here, right? And you get a bunch of coins by going this way. And you're off the screen. And the one of the only hints that this exists is that patch over there where you briefly descend onto the screen and also this hole here. I'm not going in that hole. Now, I could skip m most of this part, like this quote-unquote screen, this section, yeah, like that, 
Like, you get stopped by these blocks until you destroy them. But no, no, I'm gonna play this level legit. I just wanted to demonstrate that I don't have to. Yay! Get back here, star. Yay, stars! Alright, got my six eggs. When I was younger, I was dis I was always disappointed by the fact that the eggs didn't always match Yoshi's color. And like, sure, you could change the egg color for some for some colors, but it, you can't match it to every Yoshi. Now I just accept that as one of the basic limitations of the system, and they worked around it with the fact that different colored eggs have different effects. What a terrifying noise those creatures make. No! Alright. Alright, alright. Uh, gotcha! Now, well, I could get that flower the hard way, or I could just smash it with an egg. Woo. Woo. And for some reason, this level brings this back. Oh, hey. There's something else going on down here. Now, if I had certain items, I could defeat these enemies. But lacking those items, I just have to accept that these enemies are going to be a huge pain. But again, this is an entirely optional area if you want 100 points. It just gives you a ton of coins. Ah! Sheesh. I am so good at this. You don't even have to hold up when jumping up here to return to here. Okay, so... Oh no! Well, that's all the uh, coins for the level, or all the red coins. Oh, after a certain point, you're forced to play this legitimately. Really? I'm gonna grab another egg before I challenge you. That enemy has always terrified me. That giant blarg. Although the first time I played, I didn't even see that giant blarg because I had played wah, on a mostly cleared game. And, or no, 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 it had gotten to World 3, specifically the level Nep Enuts Domain. And so I just, uh... I just played that level and was, uh... Oh, hey, that's all the stars. Or all the flowers. And was terrified of Nep Enut, like... I, I realized that it couldn't come onto land to get me, but, uh, hmm, I have no way of hitting that, oh well. I couldn't get it, to, it couldn't come onto land to get me, but I was terrified to go into the its watery domain even after knocking it down, because again, anxious child. So you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby, then get a load of this! Take that. Red Roo.
What the? Okay, once I'm done with this level, I'll have to call it for the day. Why is this giant thing so hard for me to hit? I mean, seriously, that should not be hard to hit. And Bert the Bashful is defeated by embarrassment. Because my attacks somehow destroyed its clothing. I accept this. Yay, 100. Alright, join me next time when I uh, go for the first auto motion, automatic screen moving level. Yeah, I'll see you then.